In this video, we're going to focus on the Tailwind CSS display grid, or basically using the grid structure, which is extremely useful. For, for example, if you would like to have in our case here, imagine we have a screen here and we want to have all these cards beside each other, but also below each other. However, we want to make sure that there are a maximum of four cards per single row and the columns keeps on looping through it. All right, so let's start and explore how to do this. So the first thing we're going to do here is create a div. And in this div, to make it very simple, I'll give it a background color. And this background color will be a blue background color, which is just a blue 500. And here we assign it as a grid as well. So once we do this, it, nothing happens yet because we didn't have any div here. There's a class where we put in the cards. So we say here, and I'm going to make it very straightforward. We will say here, border. And I'll say BG white, and I will put in here a uh, rounded border, extra large, and we can set a height here. So I say height here will be a height of 14. It will give a certain height. So I just say here, cart. Once I get this, I will multiply this or copy and paste this at least four times. Just for now is because we're going to show this and show you that the rows are consistently looping through with maximum four cards. So I'm going to put in eight in total. Save this, refresh. All right, so now we have everything in here, but what happens is it just shows like this. This is of course not what we want. What we want to do now is basically the following. If you go here to the documentation and you type in here grid template rows, you'll find immediately most of the things that you want to have or more specifically, well, not even the rows, I want to have the template uh, columns. This is the one we need. And here you can indicate how many columns do you want to see per single row. So we can just copy this. I want four columns per single row. Put in here, and I'll put in here padding. So I say this padding four would be fine. Save that, refresh. All right, so now we have four cards per single row, however, uh, what we do need to do is, of course, put in some space between here because this here, of course, looks horrible. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this. Uh, specifically here, if you scroll down, you'll find here eventually the gap. And this indicates how much space will be between here. And this is quite nice. This is exactly what you want, gap 4, because it's similar to the padding 4 of our left, right, top, and bottom padding that we have around. So we put also between here. So if I refresh now, automatically you get this here which is absolutely stunning and if I would make this height here full screen so it's a full screen height save that we have like this it will move an array of course in our case here I have a set of height here but if I delete all the height you will see now this will work beautifully it's going to delete all of these and once we delete this save refresh now they will match and they become very dynamic, matching all the same size identical. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.